It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New England Patriots and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And it comes your way next. When the Gator Bowl once stood, now stands this facility. Everbend Field is EA Sports coverage. And the NFL brings us to Jacksonville, Florida. Hi there, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football. Not just throwing the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as the default. A great passer but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. Joey Sly is going to have the honor of getting us started. And we're off from Jacksonville. Here's a return from the seven. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. So here are the Jaguars taking over for the first time on offense. And bringing them out to this fourth season since arriving as the number one overall pick back in 2021, Trevor Lawrence. The numbers from a season ago for Trevor Lawrence, pretty emblematic of that up and down season for Jacksonville. Over 4,000 yards and 21 touchdowns. The 14 interceptions has got to be cleaned up for this team to play above the 500 ball they did a year ago. Trevor's athleticism, Trevor's arm is off the charts. Now he and his team, Got to put it all together consistently. Here's Etienne to begin the drive. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. On second down, it's ETN. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. You know, it's fascinating how those routes you run so many times in practice become a whole lot more difficult in the actual game. That was an important third and short to convert. Very surprised to see that play fail. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. So now it's the Patriots' turn to head out for the first time on offense. Leading them out, the third overall pick in this year's draft. After a decorated career at UNC, it's Drake May. Drake entered the league as a top five pick because he checks a lot of boxes. Just the way you want him. Tall, athletic, great arm. One year at North Carolina put on an absolute show. And yeah, second year as a starter took a little bit of a beating and some question whether or not he was still a top five pick. The ability, there's no question there. It is now the consistency in taking care of the football that would be a big part of Drake's career. And it took a couple of guys to hold him down there after a gate of just one. New set of downs is not off to a real good start here, Cates. And I know every yard counts in this league, but that lone yard, it's not going to really change what they're thinking about doing here on second down. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. now from the gun. This one finds Osborne. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Chancellor of the chains here on third and four. From the gun, it's May. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. 
And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you've got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. Here's first and ten from the 34. And the receiver's going to take this one on the jet sweep. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. You know, for pitchers, you know, hear them say, gosh, you got to pitch this guy backwards. For defenses, you got to do the same at times, Kate. You just can't always run it on first. You've got to mix in some high percentage pass plays. Otherwise, you're going to get hit right in the face for a loss just like that. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. It's a three-yard pickup. And that's going to leave him facing third and ten. will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. May now. on that play and that's a New England first down gosh I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular why because he's a guy that creates after the catch they don't close quickly he can take it to the house to the air on first down May short pass caught by his tight end and this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. Second and three now. Going play action, May. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Well, that throw take pretty clean out of his hand. Just looked like it didn't get through the defense clean enough. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. To the air yet again, May. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And they're on the board. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. Devin Duvernay to return it. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Second drive of the game upcoming for this Jaguar offense. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? Just a three and out to begin this game.
And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Inside handoff goes to ETN. And he'll only find one yard up the gut. Second down. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. An option give here to ETN. The flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Running it after the penalty. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. It's a three-yard game for him. That leaves third and 14 now. Lawrence working from the gun. So many coaches love third downs, and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know got to execute and convert on these third downs. The Jaguars in a punt formation. Got 44 yards on his first kick, Brock, and this one looks to be longer. And that fair catch brought in just beyond the 30-yard line. So no return on that punt, and the Pats will take over. run for the first time here with Antonio Gibson. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. You know, that's so hard for me, Kate. That's the type of effort that deserves better when it comes to the results. It's going to show up as a negative run on the stat sheet, but that was not the runner's fault. He did all he could to fight to get back to the line, but this defense just kept swimming. Second and 13. Hits his man on the out route. And he's out of bounds. Looks like right at the midfield strike. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because he got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. Made out a throw on third. Yeah, very quick throw, but they couldn't connect. The tip definitely broke up that throw. And fourth and four coming up. Not an open passing lane to be found anywhere. He took what he thought was the best one available, and they still managed to tip the ball away. Patriots punt team coming out to the former sixth rounder Bryce Barrier to do the honors. The punt's away, and this one looking good. Angled this one for the sideline. 
And this looks like it got just inside the 20 as it flew out, and indeed it did. They're putting the ball at the 19-yard line. Jacksonville heading out there on offense. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Brock. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. They're out and set, first and ten. Lawrence now off the play action. Looking across the field, complete. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. Big play to begin the drive. That's up to the 37. Counter give to ETN. And he's brought down for a loss. You know, Kate, during draft season, I was talking to an NFL GM, and he said, you know what? In time, we're going to realize tackles for loss are just as big a deal as sacks. Sacks get so much of the popularity. Tackles for loss, when you knock that offense backwards, I promise you, in time, we'll be keeping a closer eye on plays like that one. Here's second and 11. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. So they're left facing third and long. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. You know, in baseball, they call tip of the cap. I'll tip my cap at that pitcher. I'll tip my cap at that guy that just outdueled me. And sometimes it's a QB against a rush like that. You just tip your cap and you take the sack. Jacksonville in punt formation. Marcus Jones back to return for the Patriots. And he's had a very busy game already, Brock. Third time they've called on him as he gets this away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. And that punt gets up to 59 yards. And they'll get ready to go on offense. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. First down throw for May. That's taken in by Henry. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And the Patriots will have a first down. Wow, certainly found the weak spot in the coverage with that catch. Really goes to show they trust every single player, receiver, running back, in that case, tight end, to be a playmaker in this offense. He's on the move, trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop it. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. This guy, Kate, he can create. He really is good out there. He's skilled when it comes to getting outside the pocket, which makes it all the more impressive. They contained him so well when he was clearly, clearly looking to generate something with his legs. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Trying again, following the set. Now set up the wide receiver screen here. They'll get 31 yards on the play. And that's a New England first down. I love this, Kate. No issues at all going to this receiver in the short field because they know at any time when this man touches the ball, he can transform a short completion into a big play. The Patriots proceed into the red zone for the first time. They've got first and 10 from the 20. They give inside to Stevenson. 
And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Only a solitary field goal so far as we're through one quarter. Just a field goal separates these two. Back to Everbank Stadium in just a bit. All right, time to get this second quarter going. The Patriots set up inside the red zone. From the 18 on second down. That pass complete to Osborne. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. Give them about 16 yards on that gain, Brock, and it sets them up with first and goal. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. The Patriots make it a nine-point advantage. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Joey Sly on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. All set for the kickoff, Sly with the honors. Kickoff taken at the three. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Jacksonville offense back on the field now. And it's not good, Brock, when you're discussing their punter uh, as one of your early game MVPs, but they just haven't been able to get anything going so far. No, you'll hear some old school coaches, especially defensive minded coaches, Kate, and they'll say, Hey, man, there's nothing wrong with the drive ending with a kick, right? Mm -hmm. As a quarterback, and as an offense, maybe that was the way you played the game back in the day, but not modern football. You've got to go score. First down throw, Lawrence. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage. But then you got to go finish it. You got to go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. Second and ten. Here's Lawrence. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. First down, ball at the 36. Now it's Lawrence. This one's to Kirk down left side. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl route, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. This set it down starts with an option right. And he's across midfield in the Patriots territory. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. 
I can promise you that's not what it looked like on the practice field nor on the whiteboard. Typically, QB run is going to net you a whole lot more yardage than that. But let's give some credit. Strong effort by that defensive front who contained a play that typically goes for a whole lot more. And he's brought down after a nice game and a first down. Some backs are easier to tackle than others. Some, well, they just choose violence. They look for those opportunities to bust through tackles and keep those legs pumping. New set of downs for him at the 38. First and 10, it's Lawrence. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Out of the gun, Lawrence. Flush down now to him, and they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. That sure ended up being a worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. And the Patriots in the nickel for this third down call. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And yeah, this one is dropped and incomplete. He had the pick in his hands, couldn't hang on. It's going to be fourth down. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two, and third downs are critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, their coach wants to see them convert those. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. So this one goes out of bounds inside the 20, but not by much. They're giving him the 18-yard line. The Patriots and quarterback Drake May ready to go once more on offense. And they're coming off an excellent series throw on the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Gibson here from the gun. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. These stops, they don't always make the end of game highlight reels, but they absolutely should. The coaches and players know it. Offenses are always counting on yards on that type of run. And any time it results in a loss, it could be a potential drive killer. All right, here we go. Second down. On the gun, it's May. Got a man open across the field, complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a massive 35-yard pickup, first down. Man, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch, and it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. So the big play gets him just beyond midfield. It's first down. Shotgun handed off to Gibson. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. You, know, you call that first down running play. You don't always expect to get those kind of yards. But they'll take that every single time. They're set up at the 35 now. May on first and 10. He's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. Back to the air. It's May. Rifles it, and it's caught. 
And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. Pickup of 12 on that play. And the Patriots will have a first down. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. First and ten. Here's Stevenson. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Decent game here, but short of the first. I really like the timing of that screen call to the perimeter. Get the ball in space to operate and turns into a nice game. Third down, one yard to go. Running for it with Stevenson. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. It's a six-yard gain. That sets up first and goal. Win the early battle. Give a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. May now from the gun. Has it in close. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots make it a 16-point ball game. Demario Douglas with the touchdown. There sure was a lot of trust on that play, Brock, and he proved worthy of it with that end result. Yeah, good old receiver. Someone who just knows how to get it into the end zone is worth his weight in gold to a QB. And on that throw, there was trust there that he had a shot to find Pater. Here's Sly to try the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. All set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. Return starts at the three. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. Now the Jaguars getting set to go. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give them some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. First and 10 now from the 30. Lawrence working from the gun. He lost it, deep left. Oh, and he can't follow through. He had the deep shot for a moment, Brock, but he bobbled it and drops it. Couldn't find Brian Thomas Jr. on that throw. And now they face second down. Motioning the tight end now. Lawrence trying again on second. Hits the tight end on the corner route. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. Down the play fake. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. You know, I'm not 
sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Now give this up the middle to ETN. And he runs this up close to midfield at about the 48. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. You know, that's a good run right there to keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. Throwing his Lawrence on third down. He has the first over the middle. And they take him down right along the 30. It's a gain of 22. And that's a Jaguar first down. Just about every defensive coordinator worth his salt says two things in every production meeting. Number one, well, we got to stop the run. And number two, we got to take away the tight end. Well, good luck doing that. Defending a big guy who can move like that, it's a lot easier to talk about than to go out and execute. We're at the two-minute warning now from Everbank. The Jaguars pushing for a score before the break. Putting the tight end in motion. On first and ten, here's Lawrence. Got man over the middle, complete. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. the gun they'll look to throw that is caught by brian thomas jr and they get this down to the 10 yard line before going down that one goes for 15 and now they're gonna have first and goal well that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully efficiently if it's not circled on the call sheet already you better believe it is now this offense in position now it's first and goal Sticking to the air with Lawrence. And it's caught. And he'll go down shy the end zone. They mark him at the four. The Jaguars are going to call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. It's second and goal. Still sticking with the passing game. Intercepted in the end zone. The rookie from Penn State makes the play. And the Patriots take over after forcing the first turnover of this ball game. So that's it right there. That's the resilience and the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot for him. Backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. But instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. The Patriots back on offense late in the first half. And up a very comfortable three scores. Really no need to try and get anything here before the half. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Operating from the gun, here's May. And that pass complete to Osborne. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Looking to throw. Bails out of the pocket quick. He can run it. And just how they teach you, he gets a chunk of yards and slides down at the end to protect himself. So we've reached the end of two, and it's the visiting Patriots out in front. Now we'll keep it in the state, but send you a couple hours away to our buddy in Orlando. It's Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports Halftime Report.
All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. On now is Cook to kick this away. Antonio Gibson now to return it. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Patriots headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. May. Taking a deep shot there on first down. Okay, no luck connecting. It's incomplete. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. They try to get here on second. And he doesn't see a winner he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Throwing his May. Buys time, rolling right. Oh, he was on the move, and so is the defense, and they take him down. And the defense comes through, and that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Hey, I'll be honest. I'll raise my hand. <laughs> I think too often we just talk about quarterbacks. I don't know, maybe quarterbacks as well, of having a short memory and flushing bad plays, when in reality, Kate, it's an entire group more often than not. And for this defense to flush that performance, to flush this deficit, and no... The only way you're going to come back is taking a baby step each and every play, and a sack like that goes a long ways towards that kind of focus. The Patriots have their punting unit out. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Nice kick there. It's a punt of 53 yards. And it'll be Jaguars football. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Lawrence throwing here. Davis there to grab it. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Trying it right side with ETN. And he's going to be blocked out after reaching the 43. A five-yard gain on the play. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. Most of the people watching will forget about that play in a couple minutes. But the coaches won't forget. He has that filed away the next time he really needs to pick up a few yards. Lawrence now off the play action. Complete. It's Ingram. And 
And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. Kid, I can promise you that's one of those play-action plays they've repped over the week during practice. They're both quarterback and tight end. Went to bed last night thinking, man, I hope this one's called. And when it is, I hope you have just a little space to operate. That play-action works beautifully. And the tight end, the beneficiary. Motion in left is Thomas. First down throw, Lawrence. And that one is dropped. Such great work to get all by himself. But he can't haul in the gimme, and that deep shot is missed. Wow. Making it harder than it needs to be right there. Just get the catch first, guarantee some yards, and then worry about escaping the defenders and getting upfield. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. They send a receiver in motion right. They'll run now on second down. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, they shoot the pass to try and bring up third and short via a little more conservative ground call, but it backfired. You know, the defense, they'll look for keys up front. They fired off the line knowing a run was coming. And boy, they busted it before it could get back to the line. To the air, third and long. Escapes the pocket. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. This is one of those occasions that it looks so promising when you take off as a quarterback, and then you're reminded just how fast these defenses are in the NFL. Couldn't quite move the chains, but it wasn't for a lack of trying. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the gap closes to 14 points. Anytime you start sniffing that red zone and you don't score six, you only come away with three points. Not what you were looking for on the call sheet. On now is Cook to kick this away. Return coming from the six. Coverage team gets him down the 26-yard line. Here's New England, ready once again on offense. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. I mean, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. The drive will start out with a first and ten. Drive starts with an option, right side. And the power play up the gun only results in two yards. It may not show up as much on the old stat sheet, just a short little QB run, but what that does, Kate, is so important. Keeps that defense honest, and in particular, those defense alignment, those cleats in the ground, they're not just coming after you in the pocket. Now they've got to think about you as a runner as well. give up the middle to Stevenson. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Give him about three yards, and now they're going to have 35 to figure out. On the gun, it's May. Short pass, caught by his tight end. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it on line. You feel good about it. It's going in the hole. But you never want to leave it short. Punty muted out now. Bryce Barrier, the one to send it away. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And it'll be their football. Go, 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 go. 
They're out and set. First and ten. From the gun, ETN gets it. The big play, and that's him 17 yards. And that's a Jaguar first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Going to the ground again on first. And he has enough room to gain about four. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Second and six coming up here. They go right back to ETN. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to third and five. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Here's first and ten from the 34. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. Pass is hauled in by the running back. Pick up a few as he heads out of bounds. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. But one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. From the red zone now. Looking touchdown, but can't connect. Oh, look at those savvy linebackers. They're just right in the middle of everything, aren't they, Kate? And it seems like at times they are the quickest reactions as well. He needed a quick one right there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Lawrence working from the gun. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Christian Kirk, the intended receiver. And things look tougher now with third and long. Hey, listen, drops happen in football, even from the best at every level. Nothing more to do but shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be right back your way. Throw on third down. That one is incomplete. Come hang on through the contact. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. Cam Little getting the call on fourth down here to put three up for the Jaguars. From the same spot as an extra point here, 32 yards. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll get him back to 11. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time that he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. On now is Cook to kick this away. Has this at the six. 
And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. The Patriots ready for their next series, let out on offense by their quarterback. First and ten now from the 30. for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to the air. It's May. Quick hitter complete. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. The give inside to Gibson. And he takes it across midfield and into Jaguars territory. Halfway there on first down, that brings up second and five. quarterback just throwing away from him well, maybe they should avoid running it anywhere near this guy he's having no issue stopping these plays cold let's see what they draw up on his third and seven here's made in the air that one's complete right side and he's marked down looks like at the 32 yard line it goes as a gain of 19 yards and that's a new england first down I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. From the gun, a gift to Stevenson. And hopefully a bit of a wake up for their ground game. It's a solid pick up there on the play. Solid four-yard game there, and now they've got second and six coming up. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. They motion the tight end over. Here's the pistol snap to May. That's incomplete left side. third down. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, are not open very long, and it only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. May now on third down. Life is it, and it's caught. And he takes this one nearly to the red zone before going out. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that extends their lead to 14. That's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kicker. All set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. 
Return coming from the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Jaguars then running back Travis Etienne, trotting back out to the field. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. Not that he needed to, but he'll always try and remind people that he's a threat running it in addition to slinging it all over the field. So we're through three here. It's Jaguars football. They trail, but it's still within reach. Second and three now. Here's Lawrence to throw. That's taken in by ETN. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. At that down the distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. New set of downs for him at the 38. Running right is Bigsby. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Back to throw. Here's Lawrence. He'll get this to ETN. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. You know, you compare and contrast stats over the decades, Kate. One thing you see is the completion percentages are through the roof. In this day and age, compared to the 60s and the 70s, a big reason is just completions like that. Utilizing every one of your eligible receivers that time, a running back in the flat. Kirk in motion left. Here's ETN on first down. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. I think we got to be careful, and I'll raise my hand if thinking that play was just a nothing burger. Because what can happen from that, Kate, is you put some nice toppings on it. A play-action pass, a shot that comes down the road for what looked like a very plain play. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 48. He's got it. Room to run. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Well, this is the type of game we've come to expect from him as a runner, toting the ball, but he's just as adept at turning the screen into the same kind of yardage, too. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Out of the gun, Lawrence. Looking for a target. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. They're going to try with ETN. And he's brought down for a loss. And that run won't come close. We've got a turnover on down. I think every analytics book out there, Kate said, you got to go for it. You're in four down territory, down a couple scores here in the fourth. But now it's all about the defense. Can the defense come with a quick turnover or a stop to somehow, some way, spark a comeback? The Patriots running their offense out there. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here.
Good field position for the Patriots as they get set for first and ten. On play action, here's May. Going over the middle, but it's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Boy, offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area, it not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. You just couldn't quite find the connection. And he's not going to escape this. The Jets drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. It's looking like a dreaded three and out offensively. But listen, if you can't keep your quarterback clean and upright, you're going to need some magic, big-time magic, to convert on this third and long. Got to figure out this third down here. To throw, here's May. That finds Gibson complete. And he'll get it up to the 44. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong. Where I sit and judge a defense, I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on on the field. And not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. That one hits at the six, but can't check up. It gets into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Jaguars offense ready to take over once more. And after they were stopped on fourth down their prior possession, Brock, you gotta wonder if they're gonna be confident enough to go for it again if they get to that point here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They'll give up the guts of Bigsby. And they'll surrender just a lone yard. That brings up second down. I've talked to running backs over the years, Kate, in the transition from the college game to the pro game. They'll tell you, there's just times in the NFL you got to run into darkness. You run into a lot of bodies. Perfect example of that on the first down play. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And the Patriots get home. They dropped him. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. As much as we talk about offenses wanting to stay ahead of the chains, they want to stay on script. Well, a defense, they want to rip that script up. And a sack like that, creating third and extra longs, it's exactly how you get it done. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Lawrence throwing here. Oh, they're on him, and he's dropped again. And consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. Some squads you just see love to do this, Kate. And I've got so much respect for defensive coordinators who late in the game, instead of playing prevent, well, they step up the aggression meter back-to-back -back sacks, puts this offense and this quarterback way off schedule. Well, best of luck here. It's fourth and a considerable distance. Now Lawrence. And they won't do it. That ball's incomplete on fourth down. Hey, I am all for aggression. You get four downs, go for it. But I do have to wonder here, Kate, after being denied once again, is there going to be a trust level on that sidelines to go for it the next time they get this shot? They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They give inside to Stevenson. And this is down to the five-yard line before they can stop him. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, 
is the equivalent of a run of 15 plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Here's Gibson on second down, and he gets to the end zone, touchdown! The Patriots have likely locked up the win right there. They kept it on the ground as opposed to airing it out, and that time, well, Brock, the ground game paid off. Well, these great rushing attacks down here that could score rushing touchdowns, it takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. Here's Sly to try the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. All set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. His return starts at the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Out now runs the Jaguars offense. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life, there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. That's Thomas, he's got it. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. From the shotgun, Lawrence. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Tight end going in motion here. First down throw, Lawrence. He completes it in traffic. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for on first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Sticking in the air with Lawrence. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They strike for 23 yards. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. First and 10, it's Lawrence. Real in at the seven. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for, and you go out and execute. Oh, no touchdown. It's intercepted. That is Marcus Jones. Not a lot of one-play swings bigger than that one right there. That throw looked destined for six, and instead... It's intercepted by the defense. The only way to get bigger is if he somehow returned it 100 plus yards for six the other way. But what a gigantic swing of emotion. 
The Patriots offense all set to go. And they were not blessed with the short field they got on their prior drive. This one is a world away as they begin deep on their own side. They're out and set. First and ten. Gives it here from the gun. And that's only one yard up the middle. Got to be second down. It's plays like that, Kate, that I'm happy I'm the color analyst and you and your spotter are doing play-by-play. -play. Because that was a massive humanity, a whole bunch of bodies to sort through for one yard. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Stevenson. Give him about three yards, and now they're going to have third and five to figure out. It's the two minute warning here in Jacksonville. Patriots can rest easy with a three score lead. Here they come. This is third and five. They go again with Stevenson. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. It's a pickup of nine yards. And the Patriots will have a first down. That's a BYOB. You gotta be your own blocker. It would have taken the entire defense piling on to stop him from getting that first down. Well done. On first down, it's Gibson. He's brought down. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Running it again with Gibson. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy that first down. Here we go, third and less than a yard. So the Patriots come in and take the win on the road. And this is a game that proves every Pee-wee and Pop Warner and high school coach across the country correct, Brock. Teams who make fewer mistakes and turnovers are going to win a lot of football games. They kept the football, they forced a couple of turnovers, and that was a big part of the difference in this one.